Hello, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about another fragrance from Aqua de Parma from the Blue Mediterraneo line. This one is Fico di Amalfi. And once again, I have a 1.2 ml sample. I wore it twice to work this week. And I still have a little juice left. I'll probably finish that off in a few days. Inside the little card here, it says... A joyful, vibrant blend of sparkling citrus fruit and exquisite notes of fig nectar. Now this fragrance came out in 2006 and uh, at Fragrantica they classified it as a floral, fruity fragrance. They said it was feminine. Base notes said it was unisex. Um, I'm going to say unisex on my skin. And if anything, I would probably say this one might even lean towards the masculine spectrum a little bit. Um, but uh, definitely, I think both men and women could equally pull this one off. Not too much trouble there. Base, I see the uh, note breakdown here. Top notes of bergamot, orange, lemon, grapefruit, and mandarin wood. Middle notes, fig, pink pepper, and jasmine. And at the base, musk, cedar, and fig milk. At base notes, 23 positives, 3 neutrals, and only 1 negative. Now, when I first put this on my skin, I do pick up mostly on the fig. It's a very sweet, uh, almost a, a gooey, slightly syrupy fig. Um, so if you like figs, this is going to be right up your alley. Um, there is some lemon in there as well, especially in the top. It's a little bit hard to pick up on, but uh, if you smell it right after application, you might pick up a little bit of the lemon as well. But uh, definitely more of a fig fragrance than any other um, fruit. And as it dries down, it doesn't change too much. It becomes slightly woodier and a little bit less sweet. But uh, for the most part, the fragrance didn't change too much on my skin. Um, so I would say, yeah, this one does evoke a very Mediterranean feel, just like you would expect from the Mediterranean line. Probably more so than uh, the Mandaro de Sicilia. Um, maybe that is Mediterranean as well, but uh, this one with the figs, pretty much a no-brainer as far as smelling Mediterranean. Um, my biggest complaint is probably just that I've already tested two other fig dominant fragrances, Diptyque's Philosicos and Marc Jacobs for Men. And uh, I do think they're both good fragrances in this one as well, but uh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more here. I was kind of hoping for a better like um, blending of citrus notes, the fig and the lemon and the bergamot and the grapefruit, but um, I think the fig really dominates here and it just comes across as sweet figs. So, um, it was good, but a bit disappointing in my opinion. I would say if I already owned Marc Jacobs for men, this would be pretty much a complete pass. But if, you know, I had to choose between Flossicos, Marc Jacobs, and Fico de Amalfi, I would probably still just get with Marc Jacobs mostly because of the price difference this one is probably gonna run you close to ninety dollars so uh, for me to spend that kind of money on a fragrance it has to be a little bit more unique although it r really wasn't a bad fragrance it just didn't quite meet the uh, bang for buck that I was looking for so let's go into the final scoring here smell I give it seven and a half out of ten nice smell very Mediterranean citrusy. Projection longevity, 7 out of 10. I would probably give this one about 3 to 5 hours, and it did pretty well for about the first 1 or 2 hours. Versatility, 6.5 out of 10. Great for spring and summer. Um, I could see people maybe getting a little bit bored with it just because it does have a rather linear smell to it. Uniqueness, 6 out of 10 because it does small lot like other fig fragrances price point five out of ten ninety dollars is something I'm not normally gonna spend 
on a fragrance unless it's like really high on the wow factor. So overall, 7 out of 10. Definitely uh, my favorite of the two um, Blue Mediterraneo scents that I've tried so far. But uh, I'm going to keep smelling the other ones and I'm sure maybe one of those other ones will beat this one out by a little bit at least. So 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.